is the things that I used. Here's the yarn that I used. I used two strands of yarn. I used this silk mohair yarn and this wool yarn. And then I use a circular needle, which is five millimeter, and I also use a um, needle for my cables, a cable needle. So now here you can see I have two threads of yarn, and I'm just pulling some out because we're going to start casting on our stitches. So first, I just make a knot like this, just to secure the yarn and then I'm going to start casting all my stitches and this is just the way that I cast all my stitches if you have learned it some other way you can just go ahead and do that so for this pillow it's going to be 5 of oh, 50 and 50 centimeters so you're going to need a total of 87 stitches so go ahead and make your 87 stitches So here I have all of my stitches and I'm ready to start my first row. So the first row is going to be a bit difficult and the next rows are going to be easier because we're going to make the pattern that you're just going to copy and then we're going to do some cables. So here I just write on the screen um, the sequence but I'm also going to go over it. So we're going to start with just six purl stitches. like this and when we do two knit stitches like that and then I do two purl stitches and I do two knit stitches Like that, and four purl stitches, and then I do four knit stitches, just like that. Then we do two purl stitches. And four knit stitches. So now I'm going to do five purl stitches. And then I do three knit stitches and then I do five purl stitches just like that and then I do three knit stitches And then I do three purl stitches. And this is the middle of the pillow. So here we're just going to mirror the sequence we just did. So now I'm going to do three knit stitches. And five purl stitches. Then three knit stitches. And then we do five purl stitches. And 
and four knit stitches then two purl stitches and four knit stitches then we do four purl stitches and two knit stitches and two purl stitches and two knit stitches and the six purl stitches just like that so that was the first row so now here in my paper I'm just gonna make a line I'm gonna do that for every row that I make so now here we're going to knit the back side and every time we do the back side, we're just going to make a copy of the row that we just did. So we're just going to do knit stitches above knit stitches and purl stitches above purl stitches. So go ahead and make the back side. Now here I've done the back side and I'm just making a line so I can keep track on how many lines I've made. So we are on the front side again. I'm just gonna start by making my six purl stitches. Then I do two knit stitches and two purl stitches and two knit stitches and then four purl stitches so now this part of the pattern which is just the, the two sides I am not gonna change on any point, so that's just going to be the same. Just keep following your pattern here. Like this. So here just follow the pattern. So now here, my first three knit stitches, these, I have four of these three knit stitches and those we're going to turn. So now I'm going to turn it to the left, so I'm going to take my three knit stitches, put it on my cable needle and hold them in front of the work and then I knit one purl stitch behind them, put them back on my needle needle and then I can knit them. So now they have been turned to the left. Just like that. So now the next three knit stitches we're going to turn to the right. So we're going to knit over to that and stop one purl stitch before our three knit stitches. And that stitch I'm going to take on my cable needle. And I hold it in the back of my work. Knit my three knit stitches. And put the cable put the purl stitch from the cable needle back on our knitting needle so we can knit it like that and that is how you're going to turn your cables to the right so now we're just going to do the same one more time with the next two so first we're going to turn it to the left so we're going to hold the stitches in front of our work 
and knit one stitch and put them back and then we can knit them and then next we're going to hold one stitch before the three knit stitches behind our work knit the three stitches and then we put it back so we can knit the stitch so now for the rest of this row you're just going to follow the pattern so that means just doing purl above purl and knit above knit So now we're finished with this row number three. So go make a line on a piece of paper. Like this. And then just go ahead and do the back side. And again, the back side is just a copy of what we just did. So it's pearl above pearl and knit above knit. Go ahead and do the back side. Here on the back side. So now I've done four rows. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm just going to knit into the first three knit stitches where we turned them the last time. So all those stitches until there we're just going to just knit not gonna do anything fancy with those. So now, here we are, I'm just going to do the same as we did the last time. So the first three knit stitches we're going to turn to the left, so we take them in front of our work. And then we knit one stitch, and put the stitches back, so we can knit them. Just like that. And the same with the next three stitches, turn them to the right. And put the stitch back. Like this. Now I'm just going to do the same one more time. back like that so now we have turned our cables and there's just one pearl stitch in between them now I'm just gonna finish this round like that 
and make a line so that five rows now we're going to turn these two and these two I'm going to do that on the back side so now I'm just going to knit over to here so we can turn these two cables here I am on the back side so first we're going to take our cable needle take the first two stitches and hold them behind the work so they are on the front side knit two purl stitches and then we put them back and knit them like that so then we knit the two knit stitches in between our two cables and then we have the next four purl stitches where we take the two stitches and hold them in front of our work so those are on the back side knit two purl stitches and then we put them back and then we knit the two purl stitches and I just knitted them as knit stitches so we just go ahead and do it as purl stitches like that and it's going to look like this So that's how you turn your side cables. So go ahead and finish the back side by knitting to here, turn the two cables, and then knit the rest of the back side. Like this. So now we're done with the back side. And I'm not gonna make a line for this row because this was the row where we turned them. So now we're just gonna knit the next row. So we're going to turn our side cables for every fourth row. So you're going to turn them in row number six. And you're just going to turn them the same way every time. Like this, this is what it looks like. And now here I'm just gonna knit into our middle cables. And now we're going to make them cross. And you're going to do that when there's just one purl stitch in between them, as we have here. So I just go ahead and take the first three stitches and I put them behind the work. So go ahead and take the first four stitches, you also take the purl stitch, put them behind the work, knit three knit stitches, as I'm doing here. And then we put the purl stitch back first, because that is going to be in the middle still. So we knit the purl stitch, and then just go ahead and put all three stitches on your needle, and then you can knit them. So this way the pearl stitch stay in the middle of your um, free and free knit stitches. Just like that. So that's how you're going to make your two cables cross. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it one more time. So take the first four stitches. And this time I'm going to hold it in front of the work, knit three stitches, put the purl stitch back, so we can knit the purl stitch, and then knit three stitches.
like this. So that's what it looks like. So now go ahead and finish this round, make a line and do the back side as well. So here we are. So now I'm just going to knit into here and show you how to turn the cables. Because the sides are going to be the same. So now we're going to turn the first three to the right. So that means we hold the first purl stitch behind the work as I do here and then we knit the three knit stitches and then we put the purl stitch back and the next three stitches we're going to turn to the left so we're going to hold them in front of the work knit one purl stitch and then put them back and then we can knit them Just like this. So now we're just going to do the same one more time. First we turn it to the right. Then these are turned to the left. Now we also have three purl stitches in between our two cables. Just like this. Now just go ahead and finish this round. And then also do the back side. And now we're going to make the two cables meet each other in the middle. Now here I've done the back side, as you can see here. When I've done the next row, we're going to turn our two side cables. And I'm just going to show you that again here. The pattern is just the same with our middle cable stitches. We're just going to turn them until they meet again, as it will be more clear when we have done a bit more of the pattern. Here just doing the side cables. Just like that. So it's going to look like this. And I just go ahead and finish the back side. And turn these two as well as we just did. And then you want to make these two meet. So just do one more row. So there's only one pearl stitch in between them. As far as here. So every time there's just one purl stitch in between our two cables, we're going to turn them. So here I've just knitted into the cables. So now these, the first cable here, I'm not going to turn, I'm just going to knit that. So that's every time we make the cables in the middle cross over. The two cables on the sides are not going to be um, turned, they're just going to be knitted. I hope that makes sense. So now here we are in the middle, so I take my first four stitches and I'm just holding them in front of our work, knit three stitches, put the purl stitch back, knit the purl stitch and put the three knit stitches back.
just like that. So now the two um, middle cables have crossed over. And here, this cable, we're not going to turn, we're just going to knit it, just like with the first cable. So this is what it looks like. So go ahead and finish this round and also do the back side. So now go ahead and finish this round and then you're going to do five rounds where you just knit every stitch above every stitch. You're not going to turn anything for five rounds. I'm going to meet you back up after. So then it will look like this. So I just make a cross on my paper for every fourth round. Like this. So now I'm just going to knit into here. And my side cable, I'm not going to turn that again. We're just going to knit it. Also in this row, because we're going to turn our two middle cables again so I take my um, cable needle take four stitches and I hope that in front of the work knit three stitches And knit the purl stitch. And then knit the three stitches. So this will looks like. So now just go ahead and finish this round. here because this is going to be row number three so here we are now we have turned the side cables three times and done four three rows after that so that means we're going to make on the back side in the next row row number four here I'm going to make the two side cables cross over I'm going to show how we do that so I take this um, needle here and I take the first six stitches so I also take the two knit stitches in the middle and I hold them uh, in front of the work so that is on the back side then I knit four purl stitches and then I take the two knit stitches back and knit them first And then I take the four purl stitches back on the knitting needle. And then I can knit them. So it's going to look like this. So we make a cross, I open it over here and do the same. So here I'm just going to show you one more time. When you do it on the uh, that's the other side, you're going to take your 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 stitches and hold them in front. I'm sorry, hold them behind your work so you hold them on the front side. And then you can knit the four purl stitches, take the two knit stitches and knit them. And then you can knit the four 
curl stitches. So that is what you're going to do when you um, make your two side cables cross over. So after this, you're going to make three rows and then you're going to make them turn. Um, just like I've showed you before. And you're going to do that three times and then make three rows and you just do this. You're just going to do the same. That is what it looks like. So here you can see, so go from the inside and out like this. So now just go ahead, finish this round and it into here. Here we are. So now we're going to turn our middle cables again. So we're going to make these two meet. That means we're going to turn this to the left. So we hold them in front of the work. And here we're going to make that to the right. So we take one stitch behind the work, and the three stitches. And the next we're going to turn to the left. So we're going to make this one meet the one on the outside. So the two in the middle are going to cross with the two on the outside, just as in the beginning. this. So now I just want it to follow the pattern. So if these two right here, you're going to make those meet those two in the middle like this. So you're just going to copy what we did in the beginning. When there's one purl stitch in between two cables, you're going to turn them. So you're just going to copy what we just did. And when you, when they meet in the middle, you're going to make five rows where you're not turning anything. So you can turn the middle again, like we just did. You just follow the pattern, just mirroring it. So now here I've done with mine. It is a little over 50 centimeters long. So about um, no, 60, 50, about 54 centimeters long. So now I'm gonna close the stitches. So in the first two stitches, pull the back one in front of the other, like this, and you're just gonna uh, repeat that all the way to the end and that is how you're going to close your stitch stitches and try to do it a bit loose so it doesn't get too tight like this, this is what it's going to look like go ahead and do that all the way to the end So now here I have an old sweater that I'm going to use. So I have cut two pieces here and then are completely the same length, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to hem the top hemline by just doing a double fold. So now here I'm just matching it up with my piece and because it's knitted, it's tied together. But here I'm just going to pin it and I pin it uh, right side to right side. So right side is going to be inside. And I just start with one of the pieces of fabric and it's about um, 45 centimeters long. So I'm just going to pull out my knitted piece. But first I'm just going to pin it in the sides because that's the easiest. Like this. And now I'm going to take the other piece of fabric and put it on top of that because then when we sew it we're just going to sew it on the sides there's going to be a gap in the middle because 
the two pieces do not face um, you can see they're not sewn all the way so it's going to be an opening so just go ahead and sew that on like this and you can see the opening here mine was a bit loose so just sew this so you can put a pill inside of it and then it's going to look like this and when you've done that your work is completely done so thank you so much for watching i hope you like this